In the initial review of the Jetson Aura Nano Developer Kit, we found its system memory to be lower than anticipated. Despite having 8GB of physical memory, only 6.3GB is accessible. That's about 1GB less than the expected 10% system reservation. This isn't surprising for a pre-production unit, which typically includes additional memory carve-outs for debugging its firmware. These extra carve-outs are usually eliminated when the device enters production. Except, this did not happen in time to reach the early production units. The units are shipped with the older firmware. The good news is that new firmware is available which regains 1GB of main memory. Before you start this process, verify your Jetson or Nano's main memory. If it's around 7.3GB, the firmware has already been updated. You don't need to update the firmware unless instructed. One easy way to upgrade the firmware is to use the NVIDIA Jetson SDK Manager. I'll leave a link in the description below on how to do that. You can also flash the new firmware from the command line using the NVIDIA Board Support Flash tool. We cover that process in this video. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. The firmware that we need to upgrade is stored in flash memory on board the Jetson Orin module. The memory is referred to as QSPY and holds the bootloader and various hardware configuration files. Usually when we flash the system, we flash both the QSPY and the external storage at the same time. However, because NVIDIA provides a SD card image with all the developer niceties pre-installed, here we will only flash the QSPY. Flash a SD card image with the NVIDIA standard image, then boot the Jetson to make sure it works correctly. Our hero's journey begins on the Jetson for Linux page. From here, we can go to the Jetson Linux developer guide, or download the board support package, and the sample root file system. Let's switch over to the developer guide. Then we wander over to the quick start section. Then we go to preparing a Jetson developer kit for use. Under the assumptions, we see that we need a Ubuntu 18.04 or Ubuntu 20.04 system. The system must be an x86 system, laptop or desktop. We refer to this system as the host. The Jetson is the target. You will also need a data-capable USB-C cable to connect the Jetson to the host. There are instructions here to set environment variables and then flash the developer kit. I have placed these in a shell script. A little bit further down the page, there are instructions for flashing the entire dev kit. Let's go over to our convenience script. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Boot from External Storage. Let's clone that repository and switch to that repository's directory. This repository contains a convenience script to download the board support package and sample file system for the Orin Nano. The script downloads the files decompresses them, and adds the NVIDIA support libraries to the root FS. Finally, a script runs to install the dependencies on the host to support building and flashing. Let's run the script. Let's see how we did. Let's switch over to our download directory. All of the goodness is in the Linux Vertegra directory. Let's head over there. Let's put the Jetson into forced recovery mode. Make sure that the Jetson is not connected to power. In order to put the Orin Nano into forced recovery mode, we jump pins 9 and 10 on the J14 button header. You can use a two-pin jumper. I'm going to leave out the dad joke that I've never seen one jump. However, I prefer to use a female-to-female -female DuPont cable to bridge the two. The header has a 2.54 mm pitch. Connecting pin 9 to 10 effectively shorts the two and tells the Jetson to go into forced recovery mode when the power is applied. Next, we plug in a USB-C cable into the Jetson. The USB-C cable must be data capable. We plug the other end of the USB cable into our x86 host. Then we're ready to put the power down. When we plug in the power jack, the green light comes on. Then we sing the song, LS USB. And there it is. Good old 955:7523. Now remove the jumper. This is a board support package directory. There are several different flashing scripts. We are going to use the top level flash.sh script. Let's find the configuration file that we need to flash the QSPY. The Orins are T234. 
There are a bunch of config files here. We choose the one that will only flash the QSPY. Let's copy that file name. Now let's prepare our flash command. sudo flash.sh minus C is the configuration. Jets and Aura Nano Dev Kit and then MMC BLK 0P1. After we are done flashing, we are ready to reboot the Jetson. Let's run our friend JTOP. Looks like it worked. We have 7.2 GBs of main memory now. Let's take a look at the memory tab, number four. There it is, 7.2 GBs. We love our gigabytes. Upgrade complete. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.